In this example, we have ourselves here a definite integral that we would like to evaluate. And it looks like it's the integral from negative 2 to 1. And our integrand here is going to be x times, and we have this x squared minus 3 quantity that's cubed. And of course, that's with respect to x. So if you'd like to go ahead and give this a try first, go ahead and pause the video and then come on back and we'll do it together. Okay, so looking at this, it seems like we have a great candidate for a u substitution right here, our x squared minus 3. A couple of reasons why I think that. First of all, because you have this quantity in here, which is to a higher power. Also, when I consider the derivative of x squared minus 3, the x here, it'll be 2x, and the x's will cancel, and that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this x squared minus 3 for my value of u. So u equals x squared minus 3. So when I go ahead and differentiate both sides, I have a du equals, and that'll be 2x dx on that right side. And then solving for the dx, I'll have dx equals du over 2x. Okay, so there's that part. But recall that when we have a definite integral, these limits of integration here need to be changed as my x's are changed to u's. Because these limits of integration right now are in x. So let's go ahead and make them in u. Alright, so we know that our u was x squared minus 3. So we need to change these values. So we have x equals negative 2 and we have x equals positive 1, which we need to change to uh, ensure that they're in terms of u. So if x is negative 2, so we're going to take negative 2 squared minus 3, and that's just plug it into this expression. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, and the other one, x equals 1, so we have 1 squared minus 3. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So interestingly enough, it looks like they just swap. The negative 2 becomes a 1, and the 1 becomes a negative 2. So let's go ahead and rewrite this integral now with all of this information we have. So it'll be the integral. Let's see, our negative 2 changed to a 1, and our 1 changed to a negative 2 for limits of integration. And we had x times, and then u cubed, and then our dx was du over 2x. Okie dokie. Well, we see the x's cancel as we thought they would, which is really nice. So we can do a couple of things. Notice, if you will, the limits of integration, the 1 goes to a negative 2. They're kind of backwards, aren't they? So we could switch them so it's small to large, and of course we can do that using the properties of integration, but we'll need to put a negative out front. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the opposite of the integral from negative 2 to 1, and I just switched these limits of integration, and here it looks like we have a 1 half u cubed du. Okay, so let's go ahead and move up because now it seems like we're just about done. So integrating this 1 half u cubed, well, we're going to add 1 to the power, so it'll be u to the 4th, and then we'll divide by that new power, so dividing by 4 gives me this negative 1 eighth u to the 4th, and we're going to go ahead and evaluate that from negative 2 to 1. So that's what it looks like we have now. And again, there's no need to put things back in terms of x because we've already changed our limits of integration from x to u. So I can just go ahead and plug everything in in terms of u now. Unlike when we had our uh, indefinite integrals and we had to put them back in terms of x. Okay, so let's see what this ends up being. So we have negative 1 eighth, 1 to the power of 4, minus, we have negative 1 eighth, negative 2 to the power of 4. And 1 to the 4th, well, that's just 1. And negative 8, 1 8th times 1, that's just our negative 1 8th. And here we'll have plus 1 8th times, and negative 2 to the 4th is going to be positive 16. So it looks like negative 1 8th plus 2, and that'll end up being 15 8ths for when we evaluate this definite integral. 
So 15 eighths. So let's go ahead and kind of recap what we did. So we started with this definite integral. We used a u substitution. But remember that when we use a u substitution with a definite integral, we need to update or change our limits of integration so they're also in terms of u. So we did that. We went ahead and used the property where we switched them because we went from uh, big to small instead of small to big, or left to right is kind of how we like to have it. So we put the negative out front. And then we went ahead and did the integration and evaluated. So 15 eighths is what we get for this example.